We end tonight with this incredible panorama of Mars, captured by NASA's newest robotic explorer, the Perseverance rover. But what also caught our eye wasn't on Mars. It was inside Mission Control. Touchdown confirmed. It was the voice heard around the world. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. NASA's Swathi Mohan wasn't just a commentator. About to conduct the flight crane maneuver. She leads the space controls team. How did you feel when you said the words touchdown confirmed? I was still in a little bit of shock. Mohan moved to the U.S. from India when she was one. She's among more than a dozen women of color on the core perseverance team of roughly 300. What was it like for you, Christina, when you were watching and listening to Swathi? I was like, yes, girl. I was <laughs> so excited, you know, to see a woman who, A, is not only giving so much to the community, but she is a technical beast. Engineer Christina Hernandez, who's first generation Mexican American, helped develop the rover's scientific instruments. And Mujige Cooper, who's half black and half Korean, leads the team that ensures no contaminants are left on Mars. There's no perfect uh, team out there. You know, diversity could always be improved. But man, when I look around and I see women leaders and engineers, it just warms my heart. <laughs> what do you guys do for NASA? Calculate your launch and landing site. NASA NASA's historic struggles with diversity are documented in Hidden Figures, the true story of female African-American mathematicians who served a vital role in the space race. It's not so far away generationally. My father tells me about how he served in a segregated unit in the Navy. Of all groups of people, I have the most faith that scientists can think beyond the construct of whatever society says and be more inclusive to others. Diversity is all about different viewpoints, and when you're trying to solve these complex problems, we need to be able to think outside of the box. Did any of you ever encounter someone who said, you can't be an engineer or you can't work for NASA? There are always moments where it's like inside you question, oh, is it because I'm, I'm young? Is it because I'm a young female? Is it because I'm a young black female? But you just gotta keep pushing toward the stars. Growing up, they couldn't all afford luxuries like space camp, but their families found a way. If there was not a local library, if we didn't have PBS, which is free, those things make it accessible no matter what your income is. Those struggles just made us even better at our jobs. Like my grandma says, she says, Echale ganas, mija. So like, you know, give it your all. And that's, I think, what all of us do on Mars Perseverance. They say their greatest mission is helping the next generation.